I decided to go to Yeshiva because I want to be a Jewish hero. To choose like YU over going to D1, I think it was a shock to everybody. Paved the pathway for all the religious kids. They don't want to sacrifice their religion to go play Division One basketball. It's just inspirational. Ryan Terrell is going to the NBA. NBA scouts are interested in him. You know, people who, who can hit shots get paid. I want to see Ryan play against Duke. Hey, I'm Ryan Terrell from Los Angeles, California, and I play at Yeshiva University out in New York. 6'7", 195, combo guard. You know, people who, who can hit shots get paid, so the goal is to be the best shooter I can be and the best player I can be. We just had a shoot around. You know, we, we like to keep it like competitive, so we, we have two teams going up against each other. Uh, and keep it fun, you know, at the same time. You know, we're all uh, loving it, and uh, we want to have fun while we're playing, so uh, we try to emulate that in a game as well. You capping, bro. We're competing, but yet we're, we're still having fun out there. I started playing organized basketball uh, in the first grade. I came to Yeshiva University to keep Judaism close to me, play basketball at a higher level, and try to bring a national championship to the Jewish people. When I was getting recruited, they told me that their plan was to win a national championship. I was bought in from there. I was training somewhere. I sprained my ankle sophomore year, right before the playoffs. This guy got me back in two days. We're gonna make a run this year. Yes, sir. All right. What is this, yo? Israel News. Yo, I can't read Hebrew, bro. Can you read that shit? He's <laughs> talking about his stats and what what he's done at, at Yeshiva. Read, read it in Hebrew. It's I'm over not about to read the whole article. Just read, read one line in Hebrew. I'll give you one of the titles he, he wrote. Okay. Azmize Ryan Toledo. <laughs> What's that mean? Who is Ryan Terrell? <laughs> Which one's tighter? This one, right? This one's tighter. Woo! Ah! Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. I want the tie-dye rainbow props. Tie-dye rainbows for OFAC. Give me the Get gibbets. I'll put them on. <laughs> he wants the gibbets, yo. What kind of gibbet you want? I want a YU gibbet. Are they building you? Is this yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I hear overtime is coming. Oh, this is over there? <laughs> <laughs> MTA kids, man. It's a, it's a local high school that's partnered up with Shiba University. What's good, boys? Shout out Overtime. Shout out Overtime, yeah. Mike. <laughs> What's up, man? Good We're out here at Burgers and Grill, my favorite kosher restaurant by YU. Made a blessing on the sandwich before we eat it. Thank God for the bread that we're eating. Thank God for the food. The food. Uh, kosher food is basically just a certification that allows Jews to know that uh, the food is kosher. It comes in a label of OU. A lot of kids and people out there eat things that are kosher and have no idea that it is stuff like Oreos and Snapple. My favorite Ryan moment is definitely the 51 point game. He was just. He was just automatic in that game. Nobody was stopping him. Goofy as hell, funny guy, um, down to earth. Pure score, just can get his shot off literally whenever he wants. Can't jump. No oh, that's bounce. hurtful. That's no hurtful. Least Dude, if I was Jew six, if I was six, seven. Now. I'm gonna have to show out for these guys yeah, no. uh, during uh, warm-ups. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start doing dunks, <laughs> man. <laughs> Prove people I got some bounce. My, both my parents took me at the game. She's our mascot. <laughs> She's at every game cheering us on, going yelling loud, and getting the crowd into it. Any given time, you can hear her. About to head back to my apartment and uh, you know rest up and hang out uh, and, and get ready for the game. I'm heading up to the apartment right now, and uh, I'll show you the crib. All right, let's do this. This is the pad, our pet in here. I used to be very like squirmish with this thing. I used to be freaked out. It's become a part of the, the family in the apartment. You know, everybody wants to see him when they come and he's the man. This is my room. I spent like all night cleaning it. Got our championship ring from a couple years ago right here. There you go. Yeah, so that was from our Sweet 16 year. We, we went to Sweet 16 my sophomore year and then right before the Sweet 16 game, we drove all the way to Virginia to play the game and COVID happened, so the, the game got canceled. It was just a bad time to be good, I guess. Head on over to the luxurious living room with the boys. You got Jer Jeremy and Isaac. My brother's from LA. This is the signature of the apartment right here, this thing. We went to one of these stores in the Heights. They were a uh, closing shop and they were using this to attract customers and whatnot. And the guy says, give me 250. 
My brother says, I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you 150. The guy goes, deal. It's a $1,100 speaker that we got for $150. So I used to play basketball with Ryan when I was younger. Sometimes I wouldn't let him play just because it was too good. I first heard of Ryan Terrell's name when I transferred to Jewish school. He's the number one prospect in Jewish basketball. How good can this guy really be until we first played him and he just destroyed us. I've been saying this since he entered high school. Ryan Terrell is going to the NBA. 27th pick in the first round. Mark my word. I want to see Ryan play against Duke right now, bro. Ryan will destroy, bro. Yeshiva versus, versus Duke. Duke. It's, it's just inspirational, especially to the Jewish community. Just got out of class, finished the Zoom, and uh, it's game time. Let's do it. New Jersey City, uh, good team, very athletic. Um, drives really well and they go really hard. Um, well coached as well, so it's it's gonna be a, a dog fight tonight. Oh, we got a coach today, bro. Got a nice coach bus. No way. We're going to the game in style, baby. I usually watch film on the team uh, individually, like by myself, who are playing, and not just my the guy I'm guarding, but you know everybody else on the court, so I know what they run, and then put in my headphones. If it's not like a rap song, I'm listening to some uh, Omer Adam, you know, some Israeli music, Israeli rap and country. Drake is a tr is a proud Jew, and we we love that. We appreciate the shout out. He said he should have went to Yeshiva, but he went to Ibiza. I'm gonna start focusing up on this game, uh, and uh, see you guys out there. Let's go, Max. Ryan is an animal. He's our playmaker. Even in his role as a captain, he still knows how to take a back seat, really knows how to bring our team together and uh, drives me to be a better, a better person. Tonight our win streak is a 49. We win tonight, we're gonna hit 50. Go Max, baby, let's go! Ryan had offers from the Big West uh, Conference and Patriot League, the Ivy League, and then one day Ryan said, look, I know you want me to go to West Point, but <laughs> I've decided I'm going to Yeshiva University. And we were like, why? <laughs> and he said, um, because I want to be a Jewish hero. And as a parent, you go, That's, wow, you're way more you. mature than I am, I guess, because <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Um, but he wanted to show young Jewish kids that you can fulfill all of your dreams and still stay true to the religion and now 12 teams have come to games or watch games or express to us that they are interested in him. And what he set out to become, he's become and we're very proud of him. Yeshiva was led by Ryan Terrell, so I'm 
Rabbi Green. That's a gritty game that we're gonna see late in the tournament and you know something we need to get used to. So uh, we really oh, yeah. buckled down and got used to it. Oh, yeah. got, got in, got the job. That's the most important thing, man. Listen, they played a hell of a game. They played a hell of a game. I'm proud of the guys. I think it was a you know tough place to play, but we got the uh, W. You know, you're talking about a guy who can really do it all and just doesn't take bad shots, isn't selfish, isn't out there for his numbers. He's out there to get W's. He defends and he hustles and he and he passes the ball well. He rebounds well. Obviously, shoots the ball extremely well. He's a great leader. You know, just a good kid overall. Listen, uh, all this NBA talk, I still have a lot of work to go. You know, I got to stay humble, or I'm going to get humbled. And I, I know I still have a lot of work to go and a lot of work to do. Uh, I just got to stay motivated and, and, and keep grinding and, and, and keep working hard to try to achieve that goal. Family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Oh, my bad. I didn't miss. Come on, y'all just be sneaking up on me. All right, all right, all right. Just watch these videos right here, subscribe, and then we'll get back to the dancing. <laughs>